Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Harry here, welcome back to the channel. So I've been doing YouTube for about three months um, and what I thought I'd do on this vlog is just to kind of communicate to you what I've learned over those three months. It's been a it's been a cool journey so far. I'm really loving and enjoying what I'm doing. Um, but I'm gonna be covering a few subjects uh, which I think, you know, if you're new to YouTube, if you're new to YouTube gaming in particular, um, even if you're not a gamer and you're another, another niche of channel, um, I feel like this, this advice maybe should, maybe could help you. If it doesn't, feel free to click off. Um, but this is what I've learned so far. So number one, sub for sub is bad. Don't do sub for sub because it will actually harm you or harm your channel. It's actually against YouTube's terms of service. Um, so what's happening is, is say you're a gamer like me, you're going, you're going to someone's social media and you're they're a beauty and makeup creator and you're asking them to sub to your channel. Well, they're not obviously not going to watch your content, are they? They're going to unsubscribe in about an hour because you're posting videos of Call of Duty montages. It's not, it's not going to work. It's a completely flawed concept doesn't work and it can only harm your channel. Number two, grow a community and engage with that community. A great app for that is Discord. Um, go on to Twitter, go on to Facebook, you can find pages on there. There's a massive community that will be there for your niche of content that you make. Look, it's, it's really good to engage with people, it's really good to engage with the community. What that also means is it means commenting on videos, it means liking videos, it means supporting. It's about support. Support for support is the best thing to do because you're supporting other people, they're supporting you, but also don't be selfish with that. If you're part of a community, be part of the community. Don't just reap the rewards give it out too. Number three, you don't have to upload five videos a day. You can have a schedule. I know a lot of people that do a video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or even once a week on a Thursday, for example. Um, you don't have to do it. Don't overwhelm yourself if you haven't got time to do it. Don't feel like there's a pressure. It's not gonna make any difference. Your subscribers, they subscribe for you. So when you're a gamer like me, um, try not to choose too many titles to focus on at once. Uh, especially if it's a long game because what you'll be doing is you'll be overwhelmed you'll be playing this game one day and you'll be uploading another one this day and you'll be editing another one from yesterday it's just, it's carnage pick two games and then just play through them especially if you're doing a part one two three four and five and six and so on it's just you're going to overwhelm yourself and you're going to get swamped part five make a schedule and stick to it like i said in the last point if you're doing a wednesday upload stick to your wednesday upload if you're consistent, then people will like your content and they'll want to see you grow. Number six, have a presence on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Now this is crucial because I'm on Twitter quite a lot. I'm on Facebook quite a lot. I've gained quite a few subscribers from Twitter just from you know uh, making short clips of my content and then just posting them on Twitter. Put your link in your bio and they'll go onto your profile page. They'll click on your link and then they'll subscribe. It's a great way to um, increase traffic to your to your YouTube channel. So give it a go and see what happens. Next tip, no your audience so I can post on Facebook um, but Auntie Karen is not going to subscribe to my gaming channel because Auntie Karen doesn't like playing COD until 1am. Auntie Karen isn't a gamer so you can put your videos on there but d don't rely on family to w consistently watch your content because it will make it'll make you mad and make frustrated for the wrong reason. I have people and friends that watch my content just don't be disheartened if they don't watch it because it's not what they're interested in and I don't blame them for that. Don't focus on the numbers because it will literally drive you crazy. It's one of the things that when I first started for the first month, I was like, oh, I've gained a sub, gained a sub, oh, I've lost two. And it, it kind of, it got to me a little bit. But now I'm just like, I'm enjoying making the content. I'm enjoying putting the content out there. I'm enjoying making it, I'm enjoying playing, I'm enjoying editing. I do it for me and I, I do it because I enjoy it. If you're in it for the money, if you're in it for the thousand subs and the monetization, if you, that's the only only reason you're doing it, I think you're in it for the wrong reason. And then the last point is just have fun. Have fun with what you're doing. Enjoy doing your YouTube content, as I mentioned in the last point. Enjoy doing it because you'll be rewarded in the end. Anyway guys, they're my tips from my first three months on YouTube. Take it easy.